stress is on, is on 10 right now. Because we gotta wake our people up. Our people are in a low state and they're sleeping. We're on the bottom of the totem pole. And we like it. Hey, that up. How does that feel before one? Cry aloud and spare not. It said cry aloud and spare not. If you're timid and you don't like what we're about to say, keep it moving. We're not here to make friends. We're not here, it's not a social gathering. This is to wake up our people out of the state of sin. That's right. Read that out. Quick. Cry aloud and spare not. It said cry aloud and spare not. Continue. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That is the reason why my voice is so loud. Read that again. Lift up my what? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. I'm lifting up my voice like a trumpet. To do what? And show my people this transgression and they also take up their sins. So we're showing our people their transgressions. You blacks and Latinos are living in a state of transgression. Transgression is the breaking of the Most High's laws. We break His laws, statutes, and commandments. That is the reason, that is the premise to us being out here, is to awaken our people and come back to Him and get out of these, uh, this state of sin. Read that again. Well, I was bad now. So that is the reason why I'm speaking loud. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. I'm lifting up like a trumpet so my people can hear that they're sinning. And show my people that transgression. That is the meaning of transgression, is sin. How long do you think you're gonna be in this kingdom continuing to sin in the front of the high, most high's eyes? You shopping on the Shabbat. This is the, the, the Sabbath of the Most High. The Most High is mad as hell with you Negroes. He's mad as hell with you Latinos. Because you constantly break the laws. Why? Because you want to be like the other nations. You want to be like the other nations. You hate yourself so much, you want to be like the other nations. So the Most High got to punish you. He got to beat you. He got to have the cops shoot us in the back 15 times. He got us begging NASA, hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. And what happens next week? They shoot us again. Read it again. Cry aloud, spare not. So that's why we crying aloud and sparing not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And lifting up our voice like a trumpet because you blacks and Latinos cater to these other nations. That's right. And show my people that question. Give me a uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 77. Because you cater to the other nations. You don't think the other nations see that you're weak? You do everything that they do. You do everything that they do. That's why they feel have this sense of her superiority. Right. When are you gonna stop stepping and fetching it? And come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Give me that out. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Read it. Surely oppression make, a, make of a wise man mad. So surely oppression. You blacks and Latinos are oppressed as hell. That's right. Read it again. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. We're oppressed and we're wise because we know we're being oppressed. We know that we're being oppressed by our, our enemies. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to come back to the Most High and serve Him in righteousness? But y'all happy. Y'all like it. Y'all like being on the bottom underneath His foot. You like being gentrified by these other nations. You love it. You think they give a damn about you? They don't. When are you gonna realize that they hate you? Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse seven. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. It says surely oppression. You living in the slums and the ghettos, you are oppressed. Why the hell are you not mad? Why the hell are you not mad? You're conditioned to love living in a low state. Somebody give me Proverbs 6.23. You love living in a low state. You love being blind. The blind leading the blind. 
you love it. And the other, and guess what? The other nations see that you're in a low state. That's you think right. they're going to lift up, lift you? No, they're going to step over your dead body. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they're going to step over your dead body. Read that up. We're right. book of Proverbs chapter six, verse right. twenty-three. Well, the commandment is a lamp. It says the commandment is a lamp. What do you use a lamp for? Right, to light man. your path. Continue. Right. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. The law is light. You Negroes are lawless, so you're living in darkness. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just take the opposite of what's being said, and that is applicable to you blacks and Latinos. Read that again. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandments are the lamp. If I ask a, a black or Latino here, what? Give me some commandments. Tell me some of the commandments. But they got shopping bag in their hand. Guess what? That's one of the commandments you're breaking. Give me Numbers 118. Numbers 118. Yeah. You're breaking the commandments. And do you want the most high to, to, to feel pity for you? What parent is going to allow their child to disobey them and not scold them? Give me that out. Go, you got this is Numbers. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. <laughs> and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second book. And they declared their pedigrees and after their families. They just, they, they, their pedigree is after their fathers. Pedigrees. Their pedigrees is their fathers. We got these Jewish people coming up here. The first thing they're gonna say is that they're Jews by their mother. Read that again. Right. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second book. And they declared their pedigrees after their family. I heard what he said in the corner. He said he was Jewish by his mother. Read that again. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. And yet the Bible calls him a liar. But you black and Latinos don't like to read. You don't like to read. You like world star hip hop. <laughs> and you think that's educational. You think you're being edified by something. While these other nations see that you're in a stupid state. They enjoy that. There's no competition. They win by default because you do not study. Give me um, 2 Timothy 2.15. You don't study. You don't know what's in the Bible, but yet y'all come up here and say that we're wrong. The first thing that comes out of your mouth is say that we're wrong because we're telling you what is in the Bible. No proof. But you'll listen to your pork chop eating pastor tell you anything that he wants to tell you and you're glad with it. You know why? Because it doesn't require you to do anything. It doesn't require you to do anything. The Most High is a God of doing. You have to do something to get something. Read that out. Right. Second Timothy chapter two, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved. The Bible says to study to show thyself approved. You Negroes, you Latinos, do not study. So you're not approved. Read. You don't read. read. <laughs> and then when the men of the Lord tell you something, you're the first ones to, to, to scald us. And I don't know a damn thing. Read that again. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. I just said you have to do something to get something. Read that again, that part, part. Right. Oh. Workmen that needed not to be ashamed. What does a workman do? The workman works. That's what a workman does. In order for you to get something, you have to do something for the most high. In this society, you have to work for a paycheck. For the kingdom of the most high, you have to put in that work. Continue. Right? 
rightly dividing the word of truth. You should be able, you go into church all your life and you can't do what? Rightly what? Rightly dividing the word of truth. You should be able to rightly divide the word of truth. But you're too mesmerized by these other nations. Those nations that hate God. You want to be like them. You have no desire to serve the most high in righteousness. So what? He has to punish you. One of the punishments, one of the things I've noticed, and I mentioned it before, and I'm going to go back to it right now. Somebody give me De Deuteronomy 7 and 3. We're talking about the swirling thing. You blacks and Latinos are not supposed to be mixing and mingling with these other nations. That's right. I'm going to say it again. You blacks and Latinos are not supposed to be mixing and mingling with these other nations. They already have their empire. Where is your empire? Right. Right? Give me that out. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Thy verse shalt thou make marriages with them. You are not to marry them. First of all, it, it doesn't even make sense. It's two different spirits. Two different spirits. Kerry Washington promoted that crap, and a lot of you sisters are following that crap. A lot of you brothers follow these NBA players who do that crap. Read that again. Neither, sh neither shall thou make marriages with them. You are not to marry the other nations. You have 12, 12 tribes to choose from. 12 tribes. That's why he said not to mingle with the other nations. You have 12 tribes to choose from. Why are you choosing other nations? Continue. All right. Thy daughter shall, thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto the son. So that daughter, you, you black men, you should not be giving your daughters away to another nation. But if you knew the scriptures, you would not, you already know that. Read that again. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto the son. You are not supposed to give unto their sons. No swirling. Continue. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So that daughter shall not take unto thy son. But you blacks and Latinos love these other nations more than you love yourself. And they see it. You think the rainbow is on that side. You don't know that hell and, 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 and damnation is on that side. You love this kingdom that's about to get burned up. Y'all run, watch what I say you. This kingdom is about to get nuked. Right, that's right. Y'all don't see the signs? China, Russia, they all got their finger on that button while you shopping on the Sabbath. Read that again. All right. Diver shall thou make marriages with them. You're not to marry them. Give me Joshua 23, 11 through 13. Continue. <laughs> Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto a son. You're not to give your daughter to another nation. Right. You should be securing your nation. They already got their kingdom. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Aren't you tired of that? Right. <laughs> All you, basically what you say, no justice, no peace means, Massa, can you please stop killing me? Massa, stop putting that gun in my back. Read. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So you're not to marry the other nations. This is not me saying it. This is God saying it. This is God saying it. Y'all don't know how beautiful you black and Latino women are. It's time for you to speak up about it too. And vice versa, you men, you need to speak up about it. Continue. All right. For they will turn away thy son from following me. They will do what? For they will turn away thy son from following me. That is the purpose of Kerry Washington doing that stupid show. Scandal. Scandal, the scandal is, I want you Negroes not to serve the most high. That's the scandal. 
I will show you not to serve the Most High by, by marrying these other nations. That is the scandal. And y'all don't catch it? Y'all didn't catch that? Right. It started off with a damn Cheerios commercial with a black man and a white woman. They started off with that. That's how they introduced it further into society. Give me that up. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 11. Take good heed, therefore, unto yourself that ye love the Most High, Yahweh, your power. So you're supposed to first and foremost love the Most High. You have to love the Most High. Actually, give me um, um, first, uh, John 2, 2 um, 3 and 4. Read that again. Joshua chapter 23, verse 11. Take good heed, therefore, unto yourself, that ye love the Most High, your power. So you are first and foremost are supposed to love the Most High, thy power. But how do you love the Most High? How do you love God? 